Grace Portalesi, the new executive director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you, Chris. It's terrific to be here. Well, we're looking forward to getting back to Adelaide. It's the 15th uh, Australian Space Forum on the 9th of May. Uh, you're just starting to release your keynote speakers and the like. And we've got JAXA uh, as your first keynote announcement. I'll hand over to you in, in terms of the, the planning and what the program is looking like. But yeah, we're looking forward to getting to Adelaide on the 9th of May. I'm looking forward to welcoming you. Uh, this is the 15th Australian Space Forum. It is the premier uh, space conference in uh, Australia and always attracts a very strong uh, international and global following. So we're very excited. I've been in the job uh, since the 1st of November, not that I'm counting, um, but this is a, a very important part of our mission here at the Andy Thomas Foundation. Of course, we are a, a not-for-profit. Our, our mission is education, innovation and outreach. And so for us, the forum is absolutely central to what we do. So yes, the forum uh, kicks off uh, on the 9th of May. It's a full day uh, gathering. And uh, for the second year, we are having a conference dinner uh, the night before. Uh, right. Last year, we, we gave that a go for the first time. So um, we're very excited about it. We uh, have two key themes. Uh, which I think are very, very topical. The first uh, theme where uh, Dr. Masaki uh, Fujimoto will feature um, as a Deputy Director General of, uh, of JAXA uh, will be around Asia Pacific Regional Cooperation. Uh, so that's terrific. Of course, we will have our Deputy Premier, uh, who is also uh, Minister for Space, um, open uh, proceedings and we will have a strong representation from JAXA, of course, um, our country's um, partnership in space goes back a long time. He will be speaking about the Martian moons um, exploration um, partnership that we have. So, uh, so that will be very exciting. Just for the audience, uh, it, and it's uh, an amazing acronym here, JAXA MXX. Uh, so JAXA is the Japan uh, Aerospace Exploration Agency, pretty, pretty much like the Australian Space Agency. Uh, and uh, uh, as you mentioned, Dr. Fujimoto is the Deputy Director of the Institute of Space and Astronautical Sciences uh, at JAXA. And it's the Marsh, Mar Martian Moons Exploration Mission that he's going to be presenting on. So that's where they're going to land the Phobos uh, spacecraft uh, onto the moon. Great. So that's one Great. not to miss. Uh, any other sort of... Early and we expect, that we've got. Well, and we expect to have further significant representation from the Japanese Space Agency, and we'll be able to confirm right. that in in coming days. So um, certainly, uh, Dr. Fujimoto will be featuring as the morning keynote, and then uh, and there will be um, a, a significant panel chaired by Enrico Palermo. Our um, head of the uh, Australian Space Agency, which is terrific. Um, in the afternoon, we will move to a session that focuses on building Australia's uh, capabilities and a report and update on Australia's space capabilities. And that afternoon will be kicked off by Clive Oates from uh, Surrey Satellite Technologies, SSTL, um and um i think that'll be terrific as well so I, I bumped into clive at um avalon and um he told me that he's just actually set up camp here um at lot 14 um which is where the andy thomas foundation is based so that's terrific to have him here and we'll be um sort of looking forward to his contribution also well it's been a busy couple of weeks in adelaide as it is you've had nasa uh, bill nelson there as well uh, in in recent times as well uh i suppose given the, the international flavor anything sort of newsworthy that you might have early other than i suppose the key one here is the early bird finishes so from the audience coming to adelaide uh there's the dinner on the on the on the uh the monday night um, but yeah, any any sort of call to action that the that the audience should keep an eye out for. What we will be doing over the next couple of weeks is um, 
releasing all of the speakers uh, and of course we're dealing with international speakers who are very busy in their own worlds and so um, we are and in a world where things move very you know which is very dynamic so um, we will be releasing them in coming days but there is no question um, that um, the forum is coming at the most um, topical time you know off the back of AUKUS um, and we've just said goodbye to administra NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and Deputy Administra uh, Administrator Colonel Pam Milroy. And, in fact, I attended a... Um, we had a couple of fantastic events yesterday here in Adelaide. There was the launch of the um, Indigenous Student Partnership, which yep. is a par partnership between the Australian Space Agency and NASA, where five Indigenous students will go to JPL. Um, that's not a program we are formally involved with. We are certainly supporting it 100%. But but it was terrific to see um, to see the excitement from from students. And of course, we can't have a space community without the engagement of um, young young students, um, boys and girls um, involved in STEM. Um, so that was terrific yesterday, but we also had the AMCHAM, the American Chamber of Commerce, host, um, host um, Bill Nelson and Colonel uh, Pam Milroy, and that was fascinating. They gave their perspective on um, where the space sector sits sort of globally, but also on their views about um, the growth of the sector here in, in Australia, of course, um, Australia has only just created its, you know, own space agency, um, and we're privileged in the Andy Thomas Foundation to work very closely with them. Um, but one of the figures that I think Bill Nelson quoted yesterday was um, an Australian figure that we expect the space sector to grow by seven percent annually for the next five years, and in fact, they're conservative estimates. So here in South Australia, you know, the defence um, capital, the space capital, the two go hand in hand. Um, the foundation is absolutely committed to um, investing in uh, space education and awareness programs. Uh, so the foundation has been operational for a, a couple of years, since 2020. Um, and in that time, we have invested well over $550,000 into space education programs. So we're looking to, to create the pipeline of future space sort of industry, um, you know, workers and leaders and, you know, and it's not hard, you know, people love, kids love, parents love. It's, um, it's good to say it's... Uh... Well, you're, you're next to the centre there. So as you said, Lot 14, uh, and the, the event is actually held right near Lot 14 as it is, so it's just a short walk away. As it happens, I'll also give the Space and Spatial Roadmap uh, Steering Committee a plug. I spoke to Glenn Cockerton uh, last week, so I'm going to create a playlist with the Annie Thomas Space Foundation. We were there at the 14th Forum doing interviews, so we've now got enough interviews and... and uh, uh, sessions, I think, to create a playlist, including this one, which will be at the top. Uh, but we look forward to being there again in May, as I mentioned. We're the official media partners with the Australian Space Magazine. So it's great to sort of get involved. And I think the other underlying thing in terms of what you've just said is this is the 15th. So it's not like it's the first one. Uh, you've been going for some years and these programs continue to build as the industry builds as well. So uh, I can only give you kudos and keep up the good work, particularly in your new role. Oh, look, it, it's just such a privilege to be here. Thank you. And we really value our partnership with you. We think what you do is incredibly important uh, in, in our space ecosystem. Um, of course, communicating um, what we're doing in the sector is incredibly important. So, yes, the, the 15th Space Forum, May the 9th. The key thing to remember about um, the Australian Space Forum it is, is that it is made by industry for industry. Right, we are a not-for-profit. Uh, our focus is on being at the cutting edge of uh, developments, activities, research, 
the entire ecosystem from you know engaging with students and we have a significant student engagement um, uh, program through our uh, school passport uh, initiative for the forum right through to big picture stuff like launches and missions and so um, we are made by industry, for industry. Everything that we make, the money uh, that we make as a result of the forum all gets poured back into uh, investing in space education programs. And I'll give you one example. Um, the, with the um, Australian Space Agency, we um, have created a program called Kids in Space, um, a fantastic education technology business by the name of Makers Empire, based here at Lot 14, delivers this program for the foundation and for the agency. And what we are doing is engaging in every state and territory in Australia, engaging with primary school age children to, um, to teach them and work with them and give them a taste um, of what of what space is. And so. Um, that program is underway um, and it's being trialled nationally. It's, it's the first program of its kind and we're very excited about that. So that, right. that's where we put our money that we make from things like uh, the forum. Well, I'll have some of those links in the show notes again uh, as your media partner. A lot of that is all already on our website uh, in terms of those scholarships uh, and those key people that you identify. And as uh, you know, we've had had uh, previous sessions, that pipeline uh, of young students all the way through to their PhD and uh, post tertiary uh, education is pretty clear. So look, uh, the registration link is down there at the bottom of the screen and uh, we'll obviously have these links in the show notes. I think finally, given it is a uh, a conference and you've got a trade floor there. Yes, I, uh, <laughs> we can big shout out to all of our, our partners, our sponsors. Um, we're very excited about the future. Right. Well, look, you've still got some booths to go, I would imagine, uh, but they're going to run out uh, pretty quick. So that is the link there for your trade display packages. Uh, and I'll just throw up the registration link one more time. 16th of April is the early bird close for registration. Um, contact us at the Andy Thomas uh, Space Foundation. The links are on the screen. We are hoping that this will be, you know, our biggest and best ever. I think the point that Bill Nelson was making yesterday is that, you know, the time is is right now. There is enormous uh, interest in this sector, um, and we've all we've all got a part to play. Um, whether it's the foundation, um, next, you know, assisting in creating the next generation, the future pipeline of uh, people working not only in the more obvious and direct space industries, but also in allied uh, industries, especially here in South Australia, where you know the federal government has made significant announcements around defence. So yes, love to see everybody. Great. Well, you're in the right spot there in Adelaide. Grace Portalesi, the Executive Director with the Annie Thomas Space Foundation for the 15th Australian Space Forum. Can't wait to get there on the 9th of May. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Great to be with you.